Yes. Yeah, it really is. But I, I feel like you and I both have done a good job navigating. Yeah. I feel like that's also why it's so funny. Sometimes 100%. I wonder why friends of mine, like yourself and, you know, I have, I have several friends who are super talented and I'm like, why is, why are we not all like at the top of the charts, yeah. you know? And I genuinely feel like it's because people like us are just, we're not, we're not willing to do all these weird 100%. things. We're like, okay, we're just going to focus on our craft and that's it. And like- 100%. You, but I mean, bro, like to myself, I look around and I see all these people at the top of the charts and all of this, but I look around at my life and I'm like, I feel like I'm at the top of the charts. We live better than 80% of those people, bro. Yep. They mm -hmm. are- Slaves. Yeah. Like, no, that's the same word that came to my mind. Literally, bro. Like, I mean, we we walk around and we get to do what the fuck we want to do every day. Like, and not far. I mean, you're a celebrity, but still, like, those people, like, they're manufactured. They're well, manufactured products. They don't make a lot of their money. They don't know what their business is. They don't know anything about their business. They yeah. have 20 different people in their po pockets. They have somebody telling them where they should be every day. And in 20 years, a lot of them look back and be like, man, what happened to all this money I said, they said I was getting? Well, that accountant and all the other people that were on your team, bro, they were all digging in your pockets. Like, so shit, to me, I am at the top of the world. Well, yep. I think with music <laughs> in particular is like yeah. that. I think 100%. more so than any other industry. Oh, yeah. It's oh, like yeah. it's like they get their they see your potential and they're like, oh, we can really make this person into a star. Exactly. And then they sink their claws into you. And then it's like you become just their tool to, that, to generate uh, revenue. You know 100%. what I mean? And that and goes then, back to me yeah. saying trade-off. Like, you wanted fame that bad, uh, uh, whatever stage you were, that's the trade-off for it. Mm -hmm. You end up wanting this fame so bad, you may attain it, but the other side of that is you didn't, ha you didn't take enough time to have the knowledge and learn the business of what you were actually doing. So, like, yeah, you got all it is, but, like, you're lacking all of this. Like, it's too late at a certain point to be like, damn, like, I should have understood the business. You're in 40, oh my 40 contracts and like... Mm -hmm. No, this is the craziest thing. And yeah. I'm I'm not going to throw... I'm Again, I'm not going to say names yeah. because the labels of these artists, uh, you know, I, maybe I can... Throw them niggas under maybe the I bus. Can, throw them niggas under the bus. I'll fight them <laughs> no, for you. Let's go. No, maybe I can get a deal from their label. But at this point, why would I even say that? I would have won it. So I'm listening I'll to... I'll fight them for you. Dom no, knows in, in you gotta hear this shit, though. so, <laughs> so listen, I'm not tripping. No, listen. So I'm listening to the radio and it's like the the uh, the host on the radio station is like, oh, da 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 like, so, uh, so I was just talking, she's talking to some celebrity and that celebrity is like a... TikToker or something. Yeah. And she's like, oh, you live in the same building as so-and-so, who is like a person that's on the charts right now, yeah. performing in arenas. And she's like, oh, you guys live in the same apartment building or something like that, right? And I'm like, wait, what? Like, obviously it's probably a really nice building, granted, but I was just like, this person's selling out arenas and doesn't after have I a get, house. After getting a house, there's no apartment building nice enough on the planet to not have my own space unless it's like a condo. No, but mm -hmm. that like that that moment, <laughs> like, that moment of hearing that, I was like, this person literally is on the radio 24-7 yeah. selling out arenas and they just said, oh, you live in the same apartment building as so-and-so. And I'm like, if people why only are they knew, in an apartment building? If people only knew, there wouldn't be, there would be less motherfuckers out here sucking dick for an opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bringing it back around. If they only knew, Full like, circle. facts. If they only knew, it would be less people doing that, bro. They don't. People actually don't know what it takes to do something, and we've all sacrificed a lot sitting here. And they may look at each of us and be like, "Oh, blah blah blah, bro." Ninety percent of people that try to do what we do couldn't do it. Yeah, and they mm -hmm. they came out here and they couldn't do it. And you you brought up L.A. I'm going to go back to that. It's probably L.A., but I didn't try to make it in New York, but I love New York. But L.A., bro, is like a city. Like, I talk to people. If you're supposed to be here, this is the type of city that will let you know. I don't know what it is about L.A., yeah. but the city speaks back. Like, yep. mm -hmm. they, like some, you come through here, like, uh, and they it kind of guides you, like, I feel like at least, but yeah. and more people I talk to, I've talked to a bunch of people this week and they're like, bro, things just, you know, I was working, I just tried hard and things started happening for you. This city is something, some magic about it where it'll guide you to, to where you really want to mm -hmm. go. It may not be the exact path you think you're going to take, mm -hmm. but opportunities will come to let you know, like, okay, damn, like I'm not going anywhere. You know what I mean? And then like other people, three months back in Ohio, sucking dick. <laughs> <laughs> It just is what it is. 
<laughs> but no, like, no, but you're right though. It's like cream rises to the top, and as facts. long as you are able to be persistent enough and patient enough, there's no, there's nothing that can stop that from happening. Like, 100%, you know what I mean? Like, hundred percent. A lot of detours will be taken, and a lot of people will try to to stop you. But at the end of the day, if you have longevity and you have the patience to make your dreams happen, it's like it's it's like an unavoidable force, like an unstoppable Facts. force. You know, it's like the universe is that like is water; like it just gonna, is going to keep flowing in the right direction. Yeah. 